Okay, so, um, this is episode 7, and I'm really looking forward to this episode because we're finally going to be actually doing something, like, building-wise. Because at the moment, all we've done is roads and pavements, and those of you who have stuck into it up until this point, congrats to you because... I've started several cities where I just haven't been bothered to get this far, but I'm doing it for you guys, and um, I know last video I gave sort of a sneak peek as to what this place would look like with all four roads finished, but I thought it would be better also just to show it in sort of, you know, real time, closer detail, all that sort of stuff, and uh, I don't know if you guys can hear, but I'm actually... Uh, kind of sick at the moment and I'm gonna have I'm going to England tonight which is kind of a shame um, because that means loads of traveling and so I'm gonna be even worse than this and I won't be able to upload for about a week I'd say because I can't take my all my setup with me because it takes too much space and I wouldn't risk putting it in the um, hold of a plane but anyway um Today we are going to start making a building and it's going to be a corner shop for now. I want to start in the corner and then gradually work my way around because each shop is going to be different and I'm not sure, maybe we might do something like where we occasionally have the same shop but like a different format showing it's like in a chain or something or I don't know. But um... We'll find something and it'll look good. But anyway, this corner shop, I think we're not going to have it where the door is sort of diagonal to the lamppost. I think we're just going to have it on one of the sides. So I've had a bit of a think and this first place is going to be a newsagent. So anyway, we are going to grab, we already have some white concrete luckily. Um, are we going to use that? Uh, well, let's say we need some red, some white, some black. And, um, anyway, so we need to make sure that we're not making it too close to the lamppost. So we need to count four out and then one more. So that's five diagonal from this lamppost here. And we're going to just place that for now just so we can see. So that's what it will, that's like how far away from the road it will look. Uh, I think this is plenty of space. Some people might say that five blocks looks better. And if you do think that, then feel free to just put it one further. But I feel like that's a bit excessive and not very true to the actual width of pavements. Because I'm trying to keep it as sort of realistic as possible. I'm not going to be making any super massive buildings where one floor is like that tall because that's ridiculous. But anyway, we are going to keep five of these blocks because that's how tall one story is going to be. It's the only way we can keep it relatively realistic, but also be able to implement lighting and stuff. But anyway, we're going to bring this along by how many? Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll bring this one up by five. So... This is going to be the sort of main shop window. And we're going to put some stuff in the middle. And we're going to put some like maps up that have been used to make it look like newspapers. Because I did actually think about what it would look like this time. And uh, we're also going to do a sort of thing here where it's sort of jutting out. So that, I don't know, it looks good. It looks good, like a like an overhang. Um, so we've got this for now, and obviously, uh, I didn't say, but you're going to want to do it at the back, so that you, when you, when we put in the, f uh, window panes, we won't have to worry about this bit looking weird. But anyway, got that there, uh, we're going to do almost the same on the other side, apart from the fact that we're going to put a door right here, we're going to put this like this. Yep, that looks ish okay. I will work on that. 
that looks kind of bad. Anyway, and we're going to want to continue this along for one, two, three, four. If that's two, then five, and then do a column going five high. And you're going to want to do the same thing here. And hopefully that looks okay-ish. And um, we're going to change it a bit. We're going to make it look less just red. Um, we're going to put some, like, stripes. I'm going to see what that looks like. It might look horrible. It probably will look horrible because my design choices are ridiculously badly thought out. But, you know, we will try and persevere. Uh, if you guys want to do that... You can do that. Uh, I'm going to see. Does this look... Nah, I think I'm just going to keep with... Uh, whoop, whoops, dropped it. With red, and then, you know, I'll add stuff. Um, one thing you can do, though, if you want it to look more like a corner shop with the sort of awning, or, well, no... Not, it's not called an awning, but sort of the jutty out bit. Um, let's get rid of this top one. And I think I am going to do that because otherwise it kind of looks bad. And right now, I don't know, this kind of this reminds me of a small Pizza Hut place. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Does it look like a Pizza Hut place or not? And if you want, you can put one column in the middle like directly in the middle, which is why I made this seven wide long deliberately. So on the fourth one, you can put this. Um, and I guess this is the area we're going to have. So we're going to bring this out to the correct length. And so here you should, if I've done my maths correctly, have a seven by seven space, which I think seems like a decent amount of space for a small news agent, you know. Um, by the way, if you guys don't know what I mean by it, when I say news agents, some of you might call it a paper shop, but I have no idea why you would do that. That's so old fashioned. But um, anyway, we're going to bring this all the way around. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Are we though? Yeah, okay. We're going to replace the floor with some white and I might change it up a bit after because I don't know about you, but in cities often, uh, no offense to them, but I find some news agents, the floor is a bit dirty, well, like everywhere because germs are everywhere and dirt is everywhere, but I feel like this might look a bit too clean. So we might change it up at some other point, but for now we're going to go with some white concrete and uh it looks decent i might get rid of this though depends how i feel what am, what could i do now that looks okay for now um next we're gonna want to put in the glass panes and you can just put in normal ones or white ones if you prefer but i feel like because it's a shop they're sort of going to be wanting to show off what they have a bit more but obviously don't make it so the windows are excessive because otherwise, um, like that's ridiculous because if you had just an entire line, it's like just waiting to have a rock thrown at it or something, which is often what happens, which is really sad. But, um, we're going to do like the apartments that go above this place, probably next video, but this is almost it. We're going to also do the interior for this shop, the video after that. And then after that, we're going to do a city plan so we know what we're actually doing instead of just doing random stuff each time. But otherwise, oh god, I just, I'm so ill. Um, that is pretty much it. If you want, you can cover this up now. Although I will say that you probably... Well, you might not want to because since this is going to be an above apartment, this is probably going to be like floor level. So actually, I guess you can break this down by one.